So, I'm going to lay out a, a brace mortise and pocket. <clears throat> it's pretty easy to do. You just have to uh, lay it out to where it's going to be if it's going to be housed or recessed instead of taking your measurements off the inside of the post and the beam you have to take your measurements from where this face is going to actually be and in our case here these are going to be <clears throat> recessed by a half an inch so we need a half inch pocket which means that I'm going to take my measurement from a half inch inside rather a half inch the, from the inside of the post towards the outside and the uh, same thing on the post when I take my, uh, my measurement for that pocket. I'll take the measurement off the beam from a half inch up where this is actually going to be. <coughs> so, let me get this out of the way. We've got a diminished housing on the post. This is the bottom of, of it, and it's going to be three quarters of an inch into the post when it sits there. Even at the top, and three quarters of an inch in at the bottom. So therefore, I have a uh, 27 inch brace layout, so it's supposed to be 27 inches from the inside measurement, which is right here. But I know that this is three quarters of an inch into the post right here at this point, and my brace is only going to be in by a half an inch so I have to actually add a quarter inch in other words I'd be taking the measurement from here like this to the 27 but I know that's a quarter inch so I'm simply just going to make this 27 and a quarter here I don't know if that makes any sense it's sure crystal clear to me <laughs> the guy doing it but I don't know if I'm explaining myself properly Anyway, so I'll put my baseline here. Then what I do, because I make all these braces up ahead of time, probably show that. This is going to be, oh, it's going to go this way actually. So I'm going to lay this out and actually these are all different. I have 4x4s four of varying dimensions. They're all in the rough. Some are 4 and a quarter, some are 4 and 3 eighths, whatever they're. They're all close, but not exact. So I take this and I lay out my line to stock. I've already cut my tenon here. So I just simply make a gauge mark here, a line, and one here. this mortise it's going to exactly correspond to the position of that tenon so this one is exactly five inches so we'll go five inches guide marks to mark out my motors. Which in this case is a little over an inch and a half for whatever reason. That's why I gauge to stock instead of just cutting them all the same because they're not all the same. And there you have it. There's where, I don't even know if you guys can see this, but there's where the motors will go. And go right here half inch down
This mortise has got to be three and a quarter inches deep. It's going to be recessed by half an inch. The tenon on the end of the brace is two and a half inches. That's three inches plus a quarter inch of wiggle room for shrinkage and all that good stuff. So three and a quarter is what we're shooting for. Look at that, boom, three and a quarter. Well, there you have it, the, uh, the finished brace pocket. Still got a bit of trimming to do before final assembly, but uh, that's about it. That is, that's how I do my brace pockets.